Alright. Hey, what's going on, you guys? StepDuck here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Where today, um, we're gonna be talking about did Tyron Woodley get robbed? Like he claimed he did. In the fight last night against Jake Paul. Um, let's be honest with ourselves. No. Listen, okay, so, Tyron Woodley is 39 years old, and last night was an embarrassment of a fight to say that he, I don't really know, he's the better fighter, and he was the better across the board, but yet let Jake Paul beat him, because honestly, in my opinion, Tyron Woodley is just way too scared to box, and anyway. he's scared to fight anymore, and I think I know why, and he won't admit to it, because honestly, it's, it'd be bad if he did, so, Personally, what do I think is wrong with with Tyron Woodley? Why has he lost his last five fights? Why is he losing every single thing when you thought at one point he was a high contender? Is it his age? Is it... What is it? Well, personally, what I believe is that when he, when he got the belt, he was very hungry for it. And the reason why is because of money. He, he admitted it. After he won the fight, he went on the, the UFC after, after fight... And basically was talking to Wonder Boy and them, and he was like, Wonder Boy was like, let us fight. And then he was like, no, I want, I want Conor McGregor, I want GSP. So personally, in my opinion, everything to him now is just a money fight, and it's been like that for a while, and sadly. So that I was thinking about that during the fight, and then watching him, he just likes to fight like how, kind of how like um, I guess you could say. Floyd Mayweather fights he doesn't punch that much he like you know follows him around and tries to like throw fast jabs Tyron was just very slow and just wasn't fun to watch and uh he he claims that it's bull that he lost the fight and listen in my opinion I think I think the judges were very much bad at judging the fight I mean, personally, in my opinion, I do believe it was 6-2 to Jake Paul. I think Jake Paul won rounds 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. And I think Tyron won 4 and 8. That's all I saw him win. And uh, honestly, Tyron just doesn't doesn't ever strike for the moment. And another and like people could say, well, it's his age. I don't think it's his age. Listen, I know I know people like uh, like, get affected more by age, mattering who they are, but Anderson Silva is 45 years old, and just box and won the fight, and Tyron Woodley claims that he, he has all this power, and, like, he can, he can knock people out, and Jake Paul had, like, there was very big excuses that Jake Paul had to pull out of his head, Oh, I'm the better boxer. I've but he didn't fight anybody. There's been no big names that he's fought that are actual boxers. Tyron Woodley was like his first time that like in my opinion like it's somebody actually that is a challenging fighter. And personally, Jake Paul has only went to round 3 with and that he barely took any damage in that fight. So personally, I don't even count that. I don't count any of his fights really. So, Tyron had the idea of a gas tank. He's lasted so long with rounds and everything that I I thought he could win the fight. And, well, that didn't matter. Tyron Woodley just went on and lost because he's too stagnant. He's too stagnant. Personally, I don't think I don't think he should uh, fight Jake again. I don't. Th I think he should honestly just retire. And I know in my Connor video I said Connor shouldn't retire because yada yada this reason and this reason. But Tyron, there's actually reasons for him not to retire. He has to, in my opinion, listen, Tyron has lost his last four UFC fights against top contenders. He lost his first fight against Kamar Usman, then he lost to Gilbert Burns, then Kobe Covington, and then Vicente Luque recently. All top welterweight fighters, but it wasn't like it was a back and forth split decision or knockout or anything. No, it was five rounds worth of him just getting held and not doing anything. He literally just hangs around the fence. That's all he does. And personally, I just think those are the reasons why he keeps losing. He cares more about money than his fighting skill anymore. I mean... I don't know. There's no... There, uh, Tyron Woodley, I don't know. They might do... They might go back. Uh, but I... I 
doubt that they'll actually... I don't know if they'll actually ever do it. All I know is, is that Jake is not really a real boxer. Personally, in my opinion, I think Jake Jake's do, Jake's smart for what his idea is for money. Like, he, he's doing what is smart for him to make money because he, know, he knows how to do it. He, he's picking big names to make big money off of because boxing is very lucrative. And those, those are the things you got to think about. So I'm thinking about that. And I just think Tyron Woodley cares more about, you know, making the bag. Like, he doesn't really care much about winning the fights. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he did want to win his fight against uh, uh, Jake Paul. But it just doesn't feel like it. But, yeah. I don't know. Jake Paul, good for him to win the fight. I think he deserved it. Honestly, personally, uh, I don't believe that the, 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 uh, the card should have went to a split decision. I do believe that it should have been, uh, the final score, I think, should have been, like, 78 to, no, it should have been, like, yeah, 78 to 74 Jake Paul on all three judges' scorecards, and I don't understand why anybody gave Tyron so many rounds. It's just weird. I don't understand judges. They don't make sense. They're very one-sided and, yeah, I don't know. All I hope is that Tyron Woodley finally gets somewhere in his career again to where he actually has a fighting chance. Because it just feels like Tyron Woodley really lacked in the fight for one. And, I don't know, it was just kind of boring to watch. It was kind of sad to watch a legend just get absolutely brutalized from bell to bell. Listen, he Tyron Woodley had the better stamina the better chin than Jake. He almost finished Jake too. And that's the worst part. Buddy almost knocked Jake Paul out and then decides to just let him lay there. He literally could have unloaded on him. And those are the things that I don't understand why. Buddy, you literally could have just went pound and pound and pound on him. Because Jake was rocked. He could have finished Jake in the fourth round. And everybody would be celebrating Tyron Woodley's name right now. And Tyron Woodley would have humbled Jake Paul. Something that people have been wanting for forever. But no. We're stuck here now. And Jake Paul is still getting the ego grown. And it sucks. Somebody needs to humble him. I don't care who. Just somebody needs to. Alright, I'm done ranting. Uh, anyway, guys, if you guys agree with me, then please do a like and subscribe to the channel. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.